Is Paolo Dybala really worth 42 million euros? Answers on the comments board. At 12 million euro, Paolo Dybala was the most expensive player in Palermo's history. He was also a flop as well because the Rosanero were relegated in his first season and he went 405 days without a goal, even when they were in Serie B. But he's finally coming good. His goal against Parma on Sunday with his fourth in four games. He's got six for the season now, including one in a famous win against Milan at San Siro. Valued at 42 million euro by Palermo president Maurizio Zamperini, the striker who reminds me a little of an Argentine Pepita Rossi has has been asked by Italy coach Antonio Conte whether he would consider playing for the Azzurri. He's got an Italian passport, he's got a Polish passport, but he seems inclined not to betray his country, Argentina. Make no mistake about it, Dybala has been the revelation in Serie A this season. Torino haven't celebrated a win in the Derby della Molle since 1995, but they did score their first goal against Juventus since 2002. And what a goal it was from Bruno Perez. He went 85 yards to equalise for the Granata, and it looked like it would be enough to obtain their first point in this fixture since 2008. Alas, 93 minutes in, six seconds from the end, Andrea Pirlo, uh, shooting by his own admission out of desperation, scored his first goal from open play in more than two years. It was enough to clinch a last gas win for the old lady. Uh, Juventus are called Gobbi in Italy. Gobbi means hunchbacks because hunchbacks are lucky and the champions sure were lucky on Sunday night. Francesco Totti said Cesca Mosca's equaliser last Tuesday was like taking a punch from Mike Tyson. And Andrea Pirlo's winner for Juventus in the Derby della Molle must have hurt too. But Roma don't have a glass jaw. They were twice in the lead against Inter and twice they were pegged back. But some Miralem Pjanic magic meant they won 4-2 and stay in touch with the league leaders. Milan got back to winning ways for the first time since mid-October. Jeremy Menez had a fever on Sunday morning, but it must have been goal fever because he scored his sixth and seventh goals of the season in a 2-0 win against Udinese. Genoa, unbeaten in eight games and temporarily at least up into third. Well, they hadn't won at Cesena since 1982. The player who got the winner that day was Dustin Antonelli. And guess what? Like father, like son, Luca Antonelli scored in their 3-0 win on Sunday. The Griffone are flying. The 1982 title race, the 1990 UEFA Cup final, the sale of Robbie Baggio and his refusal upon his return to Florence to take a penalty and then picking up that purple scarf which had been thrown to the crowd. Fiorentini Juventus is one of Italy's fiercest rivalries. Take last season for example, Carlos Tevez and Paul Pogba put Juventus 2-0 up in Florence. They turned Gabi Battistuta's famous machine gun celebration against the curve of Piesli. But, but Fiorentina weren't to be shot down because Giuseppe Rossi scored Fiorentina's first hat-trick against Juventus since 1941 and inspired a 4-2 come from behind win. It was Fiorentina's first victory against Juventus in front of their own fans since the winter of 1998. Juventus got a little bit of revenge by knocking Fiorentina out of last season's Europa League. So Friday night at the Frankie promises to be a special night indeed. And hey, Mario Gomez scored his first goal in eight and a half months for Fiorentina at the weekend. Maybe he'll become a Viola legend and put another one past Juventus. So those are my talking points. Let me know what yours are in the comments below. Do you think that Fiorentina can stop Juventus at the Frankie again? Remember, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, you can do so by clicking on the link below. You can check out the videos about La Liga, Liga and the Bundesliga as well. I'll be back next Monday, so why don't you check back with me then. Ciao for now.